So we're going to add a third aspect to the electron setup. You've got a table angle and a gantry angle. So every time you make any move at all, you're going to have to make two moves to make the correction. For instance, if we have a patient lined up way away from the gantry, we're going to pretend that this is on FOSS. You want to assure, you want to get closer to the gantry. So in order to get closer, you're going to have to go up, in, and to the patient's right. Any move that you make, let's just try our lateral move first. If you move toward the gantry, moving laterally, that walks the field in. So now you have to go longitudinally to account for that. Don't forget you also have to go vertically to get back in line with what you had before. So we'll, we'll do this in a different order. Let's go vertical. When we went vertical, it actually moved, the, it looked like the field moved in. So we're going to go in to chase down that field. Now we have an up, down, and a left, right to deal with. So we'll have to also go laterally to get back where we start. So it's kind of like a stair step and another step. You've got vert, in, lat. Vert, in, lat. In order to maintain your area. Okay, so we're going to go back away from it just to demonstrate. So if you go, if you make a very large move laterally, you can see how the projected field moves that direction. So in order to account for that, you have to move that direction. And since we moved laterally, our projected field is down, it's projecting down, we have to also go vertically to account for that. Out, lat, down. So we'll go laterally, longitudinally, and vertically. Every single time you make one move, you have two other moves that you have to account for. So always be thinking about that. If you move vertically, you're going to go lat and long. 